grande, grande, grande eres, Señor. Te adoramos, Señor. Te adoramos, Dios. Glory, glory, glory. Aleluya, aleluya. God bless you all this evening. Dios los bendiga a todos. Amen. Aleluya. I don't think we have any Spanish speaking here today, but we'll go. <laughs> Uh, let's let's all put ourselves up you know, on our feet. We are, we've come here to worship the Lord. Yes. And we have to realize when we go into a courtroom, when the judge, who is mere man, comes in, everyone has to come to their feet. So what better than to come to your feet for the judge of judges, the king of kings. Hallelujah. He deserves all the glory. Diga ahora Israel que para siempre es su misericordia. Diga ahora la casa de Aarón que para siempre es su misericordia. Digan ahora los que temen a Jehová que para siempre es su misericordia. Desde la angustia invoqué a Jehová y me respondió Jehová poniéndome en un lugar espacioso. Jehová está conmigo. No temeré lo que me pueda hacer el hombre. Jehová está conmigo entre los que me ayudan. Por tanto, yo veré mi deseo en los que me aborrecen. Mejor es confiar en Jehová que confiar en el hombre. Mejor es confiar en Jehová que confiar en príncipes. Todas las naciones me rodearon, mas en el nombre de Jehová yo la destruiré. Aleluya. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Because his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say 
that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what man can do unto me. Hallelujah. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations, all nations, come past me about. But in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. Hallelujah. The Lord has given us the power to put the devil under our feet.
in my name. There I will be in the midst of them. It does not matter what language you are speaking. It does not matter the color of your skin. God is in this house. Can I get an amen? Amen.
favor. Dios los bendiga. Gloria a Dios. Now we're going to take our offering. And, uh, Alabado Jesús, Aleluya, Gloria, Gloria a Dios, Aleluya. Hermano, pide que, que ore por la ofrenda. Oh, Señor Padre Celestial, te doy la gloria, Señor, porque tú eres mío y poderoso, Señor. Oh, God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything that you have done today, Lord Jesus. We know you are here, God, Aleluya. Te damos la gracia, Señor, porque tú eres digno, Señor Padre, poderoso. Oh, Jesus, bless this offering, Lord Jesus. And give, Lord, the, the desires, give, Lord, a blessing entirely, Lord Jesus, every heart and mind, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 they speak. Amen. And I, I don't like it when I hear someone say, well, uh, th they, you know, uh, they're in our country. They need to learn to speak uh, English. Well, you know, hey, God brought them here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that the gospel could be given to them. They're, they don't realize it. You know, they think they're here for freedom and they think they're here for a good paycheck and a better way of life. I, I want you to know that God is ordaining something in each and every one of their lives. Amen. To have the truth, the gospel of Jesus Christ brought to them. And if I have to learn to speak their language to make sure that they understand the gospel, then God help me. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise Amen. And you don't have to be that way. That's just the way that I'm going to be because that's the way that I feel God wants me to be. Yeah, Amen. Man. There's a lost soul and I see them each and every day that I live. Amen. And I want to give them what they need. It's Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Amen. For worshiping the Lord. I, I really don't believe that God is finished here yet. I mean, we're going to break into the Word tonight. Uh, amen. Brother uh, Stanley is going to interpret for Brother uh, Stone. We're so good. We're so just so full of it tonight. I'm sorry. 
Hallelujah. I, 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 I feel maybe my Spanish is trying to uh, come out. Here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we are so glad to have, uh, amen, brother and sister Stone with us tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And as the word, it may be a little bit slower because of the interpretation uh, tonight. But, you know, and, and you'll say, well, everybody here, there may be just be one or two people that can't speak. Well, we're going to pray, amen, that those one or two people who don't speak English tonight, uh, that as this word goes forth, uh, it'll touch their heart and their mind. Amen. And they'll be forever changed. I love everybody that is in this community, but I want you to know tonight that not every church is preaching the truth. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. There's only one way into heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Except a man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. The Scripture says he can't even see the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And so we're praying and we're believing. Amen. That as the word goes out tonight in Spanish and in English, it falls on ground where it can be rooted. Amen. And it can grow up and forever change our lives. Hallelujah. And I've not been around long. I have not arrived yet. I need a little bit more. Amen. I need some more changing. I need God to do some more working on me. Amen. So I'm here tonight not just to be a spectator. I'm here to be a participator. I'm here to listen, open up my heart, and let the Word do the work. Hallelujah. So without any further ado, uh, amen. I, I want to let... Uh, have your one, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. I, I guess you don't have enough Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. You shouldn't be looking at your clock already. Lord, Hallelujah. Lord, Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, amen. You know. Hallelujah. We want to turn this remainder of our service over to our evangelist, uh, Brother Rodney Stone. It's been a while since he's been here. Amen. But we're so glad to have him back. Tomorrow is Pentecost Sunday. A lot of people said, well, you know, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend and you're having a revival. Well, it's Memorial Day weekend, yes. But tomorrow is also Pentecost Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and we're not just, this is, we're, we're going to make some new memories tomorrow. Amen. 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 We celebrate those who have fallen, those who have given their lives uh, uh, for this country. But even more than that, we celebrate those uh, who have fallen for this gospel and given their lives for this gospel. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so we, we want uh, to just open up our hearts and our minds tonight and allow Brother Rodney to come, Brother Rodney Stone to come and deliver the Word of God to us. Uh, amen. Let's just give him a warm welcome tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Everybody say, God bless Brother Stone. I love what I feel in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. There's no other place I'd rather be tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. In an apostolic church. Yes. Praising the one true God. Amen. Yes. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes. I think He's worthy. Amen. Yes. I said He's worthy of all the praise. Yes. Oh, come on and magnify the Lord with me. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. I don't know about what you came to do. But I come to lift him up. I said I come to lift up God of heaven. Oh yes, that's what I said. He can step through time and space and touch someone in this place tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. If I get too carried away, brother, just tug on me a little bit. Hallelujah. I get a little excited when I talk about Jesus. Praise God. The author and finisher. Hallelujah. The chief cornerstone. My God. I tell you, somebody ought to be a little excited when they say the name of Jesus. You know why? Because when you say Jesus, devils have to flee. I said when you say Jesus, the devils tremble at the 
that name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I give honor to God. And I give honor to Pastor and Sister Dublin for having us down tonight. I don't take it lightly to lift up God. In a day and age where we live, I think it's vital for people to be in the house of the Lord every time the doors open up. Every time the doors open up. Hallelujah. We need to be in the house of the Lord. Praise God. You can be seated just for a moment. Praise God. In Casper, Wyoming, there's a place where the Indians used to slaughter giant herds of buffalo. Wyoming, I you un sitio que los indios mataban a los búfalos and they would drive them into a deep gorge and los, this place has an unusual name los llevaban a un, huer, un, un hoyo en el, y el sitio tenía un nombre diferente or you can go 20 miles west of Idaho Falls and there is a remnant of a 5,000 year old lava flow puede ir a 20 millas fuera de ahí y va a haber un sitio que la lava and this place too has that very same name. Este lugar tiene el mismo nombre. Or you can go down Route 66 as it leaves Missouri for Kansas. Puede salir la Ruta 66 saliendo de Missouri a Kansas. And there's an old abandoned processing plant. En la planta abandonada. And it once served a dormant zinc and lead mine. And that place too has the same unusual name. Ese lugar tiene el mismo nombre. And finally, during World, World War II, Realmente, Segunda Guerra Mundial, there was a makeshift hospital in Italy that was built between a fuel depot and an ammunition depot. Hay un hospital en Italia eh, hecho en, en medio de... This hospital was within reach of German guns. And there were six nurses that died there. Este hospital tenía los alemanes en un lado y con las patrulladoras a ellos. They were tending to the wounded and this place like all the others is known by that same name and on and on and on. Este lugar se llamaba, tenía el mismo nombre. And places around the world, across the world share this same name. Y el mismo nombre está alrededor del mundo. And it's called Hell's Half Acre. Se llama el infierno. Hell's half acre. But tonight, I want to direct you to a place in Scripture that could be rightfully called by that same name. Aparte de la escritura que se puede llamar el mismo nombre. If you have your Bibles, tienes su Biblia. If you could turn with me for 1 Samuel chapter 14, we'll begin with chapter 13, verse 13. Capítulo 14 y 13. Chapter 14, verse 13. When you have it, say amen. amen. The Bible says in 1 Samuel, chapter 14, and verse 13. Biblia dice, and Jonathan climbed up upon his hands. Jonathan trepándose con sus manos. And upon his feet. Y sus pies. And his armor bearer after him. Y tras él su paje de armas. And they fell before Jonathan. A los que caían delante de Jonathan. And his armor bearer slew after him. Su paje de armas que iban tras él los mataba. And that first slaughter. La primera atanza. Which Jonathan and his armor bearer made. Jonathan hizo. Was about 20 men. Fueron 20 hombres. Within as it were and half acre of land. Fue la mitad de un acre which a yoke of oxen might plow. Verse 15 says, and there was a trembling in the host. Y hubo pánico en el campamento. Somebody say there was a trembling. There was a trembling. Pánico. Praise God. In the field and among all the people. Por el campo y en toda la gente. And the garrison. De la vulneración. And the spoilers. Los que habían, they also trembled temblaban. and the earth quaked y la so tembló. it was a very great trembling Hubo pues gran you see on this half acre there was opposition 
Amen. Había oposición en este acre. On this half acre, en este acre, there was also victory. Hubo victoria también. Somebody say victory. victory. I feel like tonight there's a spirit of victory in this place. I say this tonight and I feel this in the Holy Ghost. If you're in this place tonight and you need the victory from something, it don't matter what it is, how big, how small, God's here to give the victory. Well, I said God's here to give the victory tonight. You don't have to leave here the same way you came. Amen. As a matter of fact, I vowed to leave here just a little bit different from what I came. Amen. Because I serve that kind of God. And for such a time as this, on a Saturday night at Solid Rock, United Pentecostal Church, I'm telling somebody tonight, there is victory on hell's half acre. That's what I want to preach to you tonight. Victory on hell's half acre. Hallelujah. Let's throw our hands in the air right now. Let's welcome God in this place. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you right now, Lord, for what you're going to do and what you've already done in this place. I think tonight, Lord, if we open our ears and our hearts and our minds tonight, that somebody in the house tonight would get the victory. Would get the victory over drug abuse. Would get the victory over cancer. Would get the victory over whatever their trail is tonight. And somebody shout Jesus. Oh, shout it like you mean it now. Somebody shout Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give him a hand clap of praise as you see it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me preface this by saying that God majors on the minors. Yes, Oh, yes, He does. He delights in taking the weak things and making them strong. So if you're in this place tonight, and you think that I'm nothing then you better look out because God's got a miracle for you tonight if you're in this place tonight and you're thinking I don't count wait a minute wait a minute devil before you count us out I feel the Holy Ghost in here tonight I feel it when I come through the door I said God enjoys showing up when the deck is back against us. Amen. That's when God shows up. Amen. When man says it can't be. That's when God says, watch me. Watch me. Ah, my, 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 my. For man's extremity. Invites God's majesty. Our weakness <laughs> makes God strong. Yes. Hallelujah. God's word declares that there will always be a remnant, a faithful remnant. Did you hear that? There will always be a faithful people. Yes, there will always be a people that are called by that name. God said, upon this rock, I will build my church. And guess what? That ain't all he said. When all hell is coming against you, let me tell somebody something. The Bible says that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Somebody ought to be shouting on that. You know what that tells me? We win. They will, they will hold up to the promises of God regardless of the circumstances. How many knows we live in a fallen world? But you know what? 
That don't stop me Amen. from praising God. The economy, it don't stop me from praising God. My circumstance don't stop me from praising God. My financial outlook don't stop me from praising God. You know why? Because he owns it all anyway. I said he owns it all anyway. I don't own nothing down here. I'm laying up treasures in heaven. My, 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 my. Praise God. Yeah. Like the three Hebrew boys. They didn't bow. They didn't bend. And they didn't burn. Yeah. I'm here to tell somebody tonight that if you don't bow to the world's philosophy, yeah. if you don't bend to all these things of the world, then I dare say you'll burn. No te no lees estas cosas de este mundo y no se va a quemar. Hallelujah. Yes. Like Naaman's maid. They sang songs in a strange land. Amen. So that was una una trajero. Like Obadiah, they refused to bow to the worship of the majority. Se refutieron de rodillarse. The pastor said it tonight. Pastor dijo esta noche. There's many churches. Esas son iglesias. But they don't all preach truth. Nunca. Oh, come on, somebody. They don't all preach one God. They don't all preach speaking in tongues as the Spirit gave the others. They don't all preach baptism in Jesus' name. You know, that's what it takes. You know that, right? Hallelujah. You see, I still believe that running the aisles is right. I still believe that speaking in tongues is right. You see, I still believe that baptism in Jesus' name is right. Believe it. I said I'm crazy enough to believe it. You see, regardless of what others do, hallelujah, the remnant holds true to God. It don't matter. They won't let him go. They will permit him to move. You know what I like about this church? Already? Y'all let God be God. I don't like churches where they suppress God. Put them in a corner. I like to let God be God. I like to let God have His way. And whatever you put the Holy Ghost hit you, if you run the aisles, we run the aisles. If you jump up and down, we jump up and down. But we need to let God be God. Let God arise and watch His enemies be scattered. Here's the question. The question is, will we be that remnant? Amen. Hallelujah. Will we let God have His way in our lives? Or we put God in our little box and take Him out when we need Him? So you see, that's the question tonight. Will we let God be God? Will we be that remnant? Hallelujah. You see, in this passage tonight that we just read, where Israel had displeased God, Israel the nation had grown weary of a moral Samuel. And they chose an immoral Saul. Sounds amazingly like the world we live in today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The world's going after their own lust. Their own self-will. Their own greed. But I choose Jesus. That ought to be a mission statement. Jesus. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord. They grew tired of looking to a prophetic word and they chose a carnality. Se cansaron de coger esta profecía. Philosophy. Filosofía. And they chose a carnal methodology. Cogieron otra metodología. You see, Israel had turned from God and turned to man. Israel se volvió contra Dios. Y Mistake number one. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. She trusted in herself more than she did her Savior. Jesus. Yes. Saul was appointed king and promptly forsook God. And God forsake Saul except 
to make sure that he is tormented yeah. every day yeah. to the fact of what might have been. That's right. Think about it tonight. Piénselo. Thousands of people walk away from this gospel. personas corren de esta only, only two every day relive what might have been. Para ver lo que vino. What could have God done with me? ¿Qué Dios pudo hacer por mí? If I just stuck it out. Si lo hubiera quedado. Oh, If I just stick with God, sí. what can God do with me? ¿Qué Dios podría hacer conmigo? Hallelujah. You see, Israel has right? grown spiritually destitute. Perdió el espíritu. She turns from truth and starts believing in lies. Se volvió contra la verdad y volvió a la mentira. And just like in times past, God permits the enemy to rise and Israel to fall. El enemigo subió para que se fuera, para que bajara. And soon the enemy comes against Israel to inflict destruction. Cuando el enemigo vuelve a traer y hizo destrucción. 30,000 iron chariots. 30,000 personas. 6,000 mounted cavalry. 6,000 caballería. And an army as numerous as the sands of the sea. A, a mucho hasta la, la, la arena del, del mar. And they oppress Israel on every side. Y cogieron a Israel, lo cogieron de, de todos lados. Mm -hmm. Why? ¿Por qué? They forsook their God. Jesus. No creyeron en Dios. Mm -hmm. They forsook their There was no Smith in Israel. There was no weaponry in Israel. No tenían armas. There was no king worth speaking of in no Israel. Israel. And the Israelites flee from the Philistines Corriendo and they take cover. Y se escondieron. The armies of the living God flee. Corriendo. Taking cover. Escondiéndose. And those who remained with King Saul was about 600 men. Se quedó King Saul con 600 personas. And they were frightened and they were miserable. Estaban asustados y escondidos. You see, they followed the king of their own making with more than a little regret. Pero con el rey, con rey. Hallelujah. And King Saul didn't know whether to attack. El rey no sabía si atacar. He didn't know whether to surrender. No sabía si se tenía. He didn't know whether to run. No sabía si correr. So what did he decide to do? ¿Qué fue lo que hizo? He plopped down under a pomegranate tree. Se escondió detrás de un árbol. Sat there. Se sentó. In Gibeah. I'm talking about the armies of the living God. Oh, yes. El de Dios. Camped out while the enemy reigned. While the enemy reigned supreme, eran superiores el enemigo. This was the Saul system, I call it. The Saul system. It was at work in the religious world. A congregation of marshmallow roasters. Hallelujah. A fellowship with the do not disturb sign hanging outside the door. So long as we have a little shade. So long as we have a little rest, estamos uh descansando -huh. tengamos sombra. Please do not disturb. No, no lo moleste. You see, they were prayerless. No oraban. They were backslidden. Sí. They were confused. Estaban confundidos. But they were rested. Pero estaban restados. My, my, my. Listen, the devil, our adversary, arbitrary. That's what he wants to do to us tonight. He wants to put fear so in the hearts of his people. In right. Amen. He wants to make some people camp out underneath a pomegranate tree. Amen. When you have the power of the Holy Ghost Amen. living down Amen. inside of you, Amen. listen to me, somebody. I said the devil would have you think that you don't have no power. Oh, the children of God. I'm talking about. I'm talking about a peculiar people. I'm talking about a chosen generation. Oh, I'm talking about a power that says, you know what? We can win. The devil would want you to just plop down on a pew and just patty cake for Jesus once in a while. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. You see, here's what's that. The devil says, I don't care if you come to church. I don't care if you sit on the amen pew but all you start proclaiming that name of Jesus and a target gets on your back you start, you 
you start shouting that name of Jesus and you want oh, somebody else to get with me right now. I said the devil's a liar and the father of all lies. Somebody hear this preacher tonight. I don't know about you, but I'm not backing up. I'm not slacking up. I'm not backing down. I'm pulling back on the handle and I'm getting out of here. I said I ain't quitting. I ain't no quitter. I got news for the devil. I'm in it to win it. I said I'm in it to win it. And here's the good thing. The devil knows the back of the book. You know what? The devil knows that we win. Somebody say, but the righteous. But the righteous. But the righteous are as bold as lions. I said they are as bold as lions. The righteous refuse to rest while the enemy runs rampant. The righteous refuse to rest while the devil's trying to take our families. The righteous refuse. Oh, they're the praying people. They're the praying people that's praying. While you asleep, or the pastor praying on his knees for you. Hey, come on now from underneath the pomegranate tree. The fruit is right and it's ready. Hallelujah. It's right for the picking. For those who bleed and have faith for the victory. How many in the house tonight have faith for the victory? Amen. Oh, if you got faith for the victory, somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, I tell you tonight, I got faith that God's going to show up, show up, and show out. You know why? Because he's a mighty God. And by the way, he loves you tonight. Yes, I am. Oh, what a bonus. Ain't it good to serve a God? Oh, I'm fixing to get on a soapbox. I said, ain't it good to serve a God that we don't have to rub no belly? Oh, ain't it good to know that we can hit our knees in prayer and Jesus just show up? Ain't it good to know that when the smoke clears, there was one God, a mighty God, that's on our side? I'm never there. Hallelujah. You see, at this time in history, there were only two swords in Israel. One was in the hand of King Saul, and the other was in the hand of his son Jonathan. Hallelujah. One sword was sheathed, and one sword was drawn. Hallelujah. I don't know about you tonight, but I'm going out of this with my sword drawn. Yeah. And pardon me tonight for my southern vernacular, but I ain't going out like no punk. I'm going out with a sword drawn. I'm going out fighting. I'm going out fighting. I said I'm going out fighting the devil and everything that I got. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thankfully. Thankfully, Jonathan's tiny company. It was just him and his armor bearer. Was not influenced by Saul's ways. Thankful, say you. Thank God he wasn't influenced by Saul's ways. This group that was within a group upset the status quo. Do you understand that this group? That was within a group said, let's see what God can do. This group within all oh, somebody needs to hear me tonight. This group within a group said, let's let God have a move tonight. This group in Rayford, North Carolina said, let's see what God can do. You remember? God will always have a faithful remnant. Always. He will always have a group that steps out of the shade and says, let's have a move of God. Let's always be that people. 
You remember Joshua and Caleb? Where did Joshua and Caleb? The group within a group. Group within a group. That said, we can take them. Right. Well, go ahead. Amen. Oh yeah. The rest of them said, Oh, you know them giants speak. Uh -huh. Oh, we can't take them. There's many of them. They, they're in the land. We can't take them. Joshua and Caleb said, Oh yeah, we can take them. Right. The group within a group that says, You know what? Our God's done gave us the land and we're going to take it. Yeah. Brother Duncan, God's done yeah. giving the land. We're going to take it. Yeah. Oh, somebody needs to hear me tonight. Somebody needs to stand up face to face with the devil and say, It's not over till it's over. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's not over. Yeah. I ain't heard no angel sing. I ain't heard Gabriel blow no trumpet. It ain't over till it's over. Yeah. Hallelujah. That group within a group that says, You know what? God's not done here. Yet. You're not done here. Hallelujah. 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 That group that says we can take the promised land. I feel, I feel something in the house. Now, I believe I'm within a group that's within a group that says, You know what? We are not will. We, we will not do church as usual. I believe that I'm in a church tonight that says we will not just be status quo. We Naysayers say. Let me tell somebody something. There's always going to be somebody that says you can't. Right. Always going to be somebody that's going to say, you know, you can't do that. That can't happen. You know what I say? They don't know the kind of God I serve. You get to know this God I serve, and you'll say that all things are possible. Nothing is impossible with my God. Nothing. You see, Jonathan and his armor bearer, they marched right on up into that outpost. And they achieved what the, what the big armies couldn't do. Victory. Two. Dos. Jonathan and his armor bearer. Remember? Or two were gathered. That's right. Praise God. You see, that's powerful right there. Or two were gathered in that name. You see, when the deck seems to be stacked up against us, when all the odds say you lose, I don't think somebody ain't getting it right here. You see, when God, when, when the world steps in and says you lost, man, back down, God said, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. You don't have the last say. God said, that is mine. You know what Jonathan and his own bear did? They went in there and declared the victory. That's what they did. You say, well, what motivated Jonathan to go up against such a greater force? Well, the first thing was an inward certainty. You see, Jonathan knew his God. And Jonathan knew that God had his back. When the chips were down and everything was against him, Jonathan said, I come against you in the name of the Lord. That inward certainty. 1 Samuel 14, chapter 14, verse 6. Listen to this. It says, There is no restraint to the Lord to save by many or by few. Praise God. Wow. wow. Did you grasp that? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Listen to what it says in the NLT. I like this one. It says, let's go across to see those pagans. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> said, Jonathan said to his owner bear, he said, perhaps the Lord will help us. Yeah. Yeah. Stop yelling by He said, for there's nothing that can hinder the Lord. He said, he can win a battle whether he has many warriors yeah. or whether he has just a few. Yeah. You see, that's telling me one thing. That God don't need big to do big things. I said he can take a handful of apple stock. He can take a handful of people and say, you know what? You call by my name, we can win this thing. And he'll give somebody in this place tonight the victory if you want the victory tonight. But you got to want it. That's the thing. You got to be desperate for the victory tonight. You want to overcome that thing that's plaguing you? Then you got to want it. God said it's here tonight. All you got to do is come and get it. Hallelujah. And hell's half acre is conquered first with that inward certainty that Jonathan had. Hallelujah. You see the odds? Yeah, they were stacked against him. The enemy? In great number. They had chariots and they had a cavalry. And the only thing that Jonathan had was a sword. Imagine that. Just a sword. The enemy had the high ground at Michmash. But you know what? None of these things moved Jonathan. That's what I like about that Jonathan. None of this moved Jonathan. It didn't matter that the, that the enemy was just as far as you could see. No importaba que vieran todo el enemy. Us in our flesh, we would look at that and tell you, we're going to need some backup. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan, Jonathan said, you know what? Come on, armor bear. We can take him. Yeah, the Leo soul, but yeah. <laughs> Come on, prayer warrior. We can take him. Yeah. Come on, Bible study giver. We can take him. Come on, witness for Jesus. We can take him. In his heart was that certainty that God was with him. And that God would never leave nor forsake. Hallelujah. 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 David said, I've never seen a righteous forsaken. Nor his seed begging bread. Let me tell you something, somebody. This is a word for somebody. You give your best to God. You give everything you got to God. I guarantee you, God will see you through. I'll tell you right now, there is nothing that my God won't do. You say, well, I can't afford to give. You can't not afford to give. I can't afford to do this. I'll tell you right now, go ahead and give and watch God show up, show off, and show out. I guarantee you. I'm meddling a little bit. Praise God. Hallelujah. You listen. Satan. Fool saints of God who doesn't keep this in the forefront of their minds. The devil, he's got a bunch of people fooled. Amen. It blows my mind how it, when, when people forget that God is with us. I'm not, wait a minute, I'm not talking about just a uh, 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 secular people. I'm talking about apostolics. Right. I'm talking about the apostolic church when we forget that we have an all powerful, all knowing, and everywhere. I'm telling you, when we forget that, the devil steps in and says, Hey, I think I can work something on that right there. All right. Oh, but let me tell you something when, when you take our own fire, Saint of God, filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Whoa, when the devil steps to the forefront. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. You know what I like about the story about Jonathan and his own bear? Come here, Pastor. Let me, let me yeah. You know what happened? You know what happens when the, when Jonathan and his own bear went up? Hey, John, I, I can imagine Jonathan said, I tell you what, you watch my back. I'll watch your back. Right. And they probably stood back to back. Man. You know, like and you know what happened? When the enemy comes, and the enemy comes from this direction, I go to swing it. I get my sword out. And when the enemy comes from that direction, he goes to swing it. Hey, people of God, if you'll stand back to back, those are toes, let me tell you something. Oh, God's got our back. God's got our back. I said, God's got our back. Somebody ought to shout. Let's give him a hand clap of praise. See, I don't preach no weak church. Mm. Oh, no, no. If y'all think I'm here tonight going to preach a weak church, a defeated church, oh, y'all got the wrong preaching. I'll tell you right now, this church is going up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God said I'm coming back with a church for a church without spot, without weak, without blemish. Oh, the bride of Christ is making herself ready. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. But the devil would like nothing more than to, than, than to fool a lot of people with a large show of force. I was in the military. And I was on an aircraft carrier for four years. And half the battle, they told us, was a show of force. A lot of times you don't have to do nothing. You just show up. Think about it. You show up with a with a ship that's as big as the length of three football fields. About 20 stories high from water to the top. And about a hundred and some planes on the flight deck. Fighters, subs, destroyers, and everything else around you. Show a force. That's half the battle. You see, what I'm trying to say tonight is this. That the devil tries to show up. Yes. And he tries to dangle that thing in front of you. Yes. You see, you can't. That lost loved one, he's not coming. Uh, that drug addiction, you can't get over that. Right. That alcoholism, you can't overcome that. That nicotine addiction, you can't overcome that. That show of force. But I'm so glad tonight that God shows up. He's an on time God, Brother W. Yes, He is. Hallelujah. He shows up right in the nick of time. He shows up in a fiery furnace. He shows up in a den of lions. Right in the nick of time. Yes, He does. Hallelujah. God doesn't need big to do big things. You know what Jonathan said? He said, maybe God will work for us. In his mind. Then God turned this maybe into a miracle. Read it. God turned his maybe into a miracle. Let me tell you something tonight, little thinker. Let me tell you something. God can turn your maybe into a miracle. You see, I don't serve an uncertain God. I don't say, God, maybe you could do this if you could. I say, God, you're an all powerful God. I know you can do this. You're going to do this. I'm a child and a king. It's going to happen if you said it's going to happen. Let me tell somebody something. If God made you a promise, you better stand on it. But I'm telling you right now, God's not slack concerning His promises. If God tells you that a lost loved one's coming, you better believe it, honey. God's going to show up, show up, and show out. Before long, your miracle. I said, you'll see Him running the eyes. With the Holy Ghost, baptized in Jesus' name. My, my. When that inward certainty of God's goodness grips us, the maybe God can begins to take over. Right. It begins to say, you know what? Maybe I'm the one 
that, that God's God wanting to heal. Maybe this thing will work out. Amen. Maybe God can heal this cancer. Yes. Yes. Your prayer. Yes. Oh yeah. Amen. God's a healer. Yes. Hallelujah. I still believe that. Yes. Matter of fact, I've seen it firsthand. Yes. Oh, praise, praise God. Jesus. Praise God. And maybe that inward surgery. You see, we forget that sometimes. That God is on our side. Dios está en nuestro. Our side. En nuestro lado. Yes. Through faith. Listen. Through faith. A crying baby in a basket becomes a deliverer. Yes. Baby llorando una vez. Listen. A baby in a manger becomes a savior. Yes. Amen. A stone and a sling brings down a giant. Amen. A lunch of five loaves and two fishes become a banquet. Amen. Faith in God turns your maybes into miracles. Amen. Turns your maybes into miracles. I thank God for the Jonathan spirit in the house tonight. I thank God that says, you know what? We're not leaving here till I get my blessing. Woo! I don't care how long it takes it. If we have to be taken home, drunk, slain in the spirit, it don't matter. I'm not leaving here till I get my blessing. Hallelujah. I thank God for the people that don't wait on everybody else to get on board. I thank God for the people that step out in faith and say, I believe God can work a miracle in this place tonight. Oh yeah. I thank God for a people that's here on a Saturday night yeah. where you can be anywhere else in this world you wanted to be. I thank God for the Jonathan spirit that said we can take them. Yeah. I thank God for that type of people. I thank God for that Jonathan spirit that says God is still in the miracle working business. I thank God for that Jonathan spirit that will go out on a limb and says, you know, let's see what the Lord wants to do right now. I thank God for people that don't just sit back. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you why I thank God for people running the aisles and worship God. I thank God for people that will jump up and shout. Hallelujah. I'm talking about to let the devil know that he ain't won. Oh, I think I ain't stepping on nobody's toes now. That's for the pastor. But I'll tell you one thing right now. If you've got the joy of the Holy Ghost deciding down in you, if you can't shout, if you can't, oh, something's wrong in the spirit. My, 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 my. my. I thank God for those people that step out and believe God. That your man did become a miracle. I thank God for the people. That your prayer request will soon be a testimony. Yes. Yes. Did you hear me? Yes. That thing you've been praying for? Woo. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. Oh yeah. Soon it'll be a testimony. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Somebody ought to be jumping up and saying, you know what? I believe God for a move of God in my life, in my wife's life, in my husband's life, in my family's life. I'm believing God. Somebody ought to shout for the victory right now. Why don't we just give God right now a 30 second praise break and let's let God know that God, I know you got my back. I know you're with me. I know you're with me in the bad times, the sad times. I said, God, you are my God. Amen. Listen, one more point. I'm going to try to get finished. When a few people, somebody say a few, when a few people get on the same page, when a few people join and unite together, like they did in the upper room. You see, I, I, I know we read that story in Pentecost, like, that's our story. Yeah. But if you begin to dwell and you begin to think on that, and you let it resonate with you, that these people waited in another room for a promise that Jesus said, I'll send back to you. You know what's so good about that story? When it said that the, that the Holy Ghost came in that room, 
Espíritu Christ Santo entró en ese cuarto. It said, it said it swept in that room. Yeah. It said the Holy Ghost hovered over here in the corner. Glory. Yeah. Glory a Dios. Oh, it said the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost fell over in this corner. Oh. It said the Holy Ghost, you know, hunkered down over here in this corner. Oh, no, 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 no. It said the Holy Ghost came in and that and everybody in the house was filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'm telling somebody here tonight, if you want the Holy Ghost, he's in the house. And I mean, he's all over the house. Oh, oh his train filled the temple. And finally, hell's half acre can be conquered. Let me tell you something. I'm here tonight to give hell a headache. Yeah. I don't know about y'all tonight, but I've got my foot on the devil's head. You ever heard that old song? I got the devil under my feet. The Holy Ghost is holding him down. Amen. I said we got the devil under our feet. Under our feet. He's screaming. Listen to this. Jonathan and his armor bearer. They came to a place. And it, was, it was. They came to a dark canyon. That led to a to a high place. It led way up on a high place, and so deep was this canyon that the towering cliffs on each side were given names. These two cliffs on both sides. They were given names. Bozes and Sinna was the name. You say, well, why do you point that out? General Allensby of the British Army and his officers, they read about this account of Jonathan and his armor bearer in 1918. Read this account that we're reading tonight. They read it and they followed the same route that Jonathan and his armor bearer followed. Followed that same route. And they defeated the Turks in 1918. You say, well, what does that have to do with anything tonight? I'm saying if God done it then, God can do it now. I'm saying if God done it then, He can do it again. I'm saying if God showed you a way, you better follow that way. Because guess what? You will defeat the enemy. That's what I'm saying. This here, General Adams of the British Army in 1918 followed a route that Jonathan and his armor bearer over thousands of years ago followed. Right. And won the battle. Amen. Woo! That's powerful. Yes. Hallelujah. You see, Jonathan's plan was this. You're going to flip out when I tell you this plan. <laughs> yeah. Listen to this. Jonathan's plan was to allow the enemy to see him. Whatever happened to Whatever happened to the element of surprise? Whatever happened to ambush? We got you. Whatever happened to that? You see, our ways are not God's ways. His ways are so much higher than ours. Jonathan said if the enemy told him to stay still, then they would stay still and fight him in the canyon. Amen. He said, if the enemy said, let's go up to the high ground to fight, then we're going up to the high ground up there on Hell's Half Acre. We're going up there to Hell's Half Acre. Either way, here's the point. Either way, Jonathan prepared for a fight. I'm telling some people in this place today, I don't care if it's in the valley or on the mountain. I don't care if the kids are acting up. I don't care if your cars broke down. I don't care if the check's not in the mail. Prepare for a fight. I'm telling you right now, I don't care. My God is a good God and He will supply all your needs. Hallelujah. You see, it didn't matter. John said, I come to fight. Right. We will win. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just need to plan for the fight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't care if everything's not going right in your life. He's still God. Amen. 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 
I don't care. care. It don't it don't matter if I if I if I come up bankrupt tomorrow. We're we'll probably about five dollars away. Yeah. It don't matter. Yeah. God is God. God is God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, I don't know about I don't know what Jonathan was saying on that day that he was standing there before that enemy, but it was probably this. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. You know what Jonathan said? It don't matter. He's standing on the face of an enemy as numerous as a sea. He said, I'm not running on the bear. You better have my back. I'm standing face to face, nose to nose. I'm looking up the enemy right now. And I'm telling somebody right now, when the devil comes started, look at him face to face and say, Devil, you better not have a party on me yet. Because I'll give a little more. I'll count a little more. I'll pray a little more. Oh, somebody needs to hear me right now. Hey, no devil in hell is going to destroy this. John said, Oh God. Fight for me. I will keep fighting. I will not give up. I will lay hold on the victory. I will lay hold on eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And listen, when they reached that half acre of land, when they reached that half acre of land, Jonathan drew that sword. Hey, I can almost picture it. If you could get a vision. Yeah. Jonathan threw that sword in the name of the Lord Ooh. and he was standing up there and he began knocking the enemy down he began to knock the enemy down and his armor bearer came up behind him and his armor bearer was using stones and rocks and whatever he could use he came up behind him and whatever they could do they began to fight the enemy yeah. they just kept on fighting one kill Two kill, four kill, ten kill, twenty kill, and then the battle was over. You say, "Wait a minute, preacher! I thought you said the enemy was as numerous as the sands of the sea." Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. But God showed up. Amen. Remember, listen, and there was a trembling in the host and in the field. And among all the people and the garrisons, the spoilers, they also trembled. And the earth quaked. So it was a very great trembling. When God shows up, the odds begin to tilt. When God shows up, the deck seems to be not stacked against us anymore. The scale seems to go to our side. Oh, somebody needs to get with me tonight. I'm closing right now. If we could all stand right now. The music can come. The enemy. The enemy is laying out a plan tonight. Against you. And your family. Don't think he's resting because we're in church. The enemy is laying out a plan. And here it is. The only way that it will work is if we don't fight. Did somebody hear that tonight? Amen. I'm talking to somebody right now that's just before throwing in the towel. I'm speaking to somebody tonight that says, you know what, I don't know if i got any fight left in me. I'm speaking to somebody tonight that said, unless God shows up, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yes. Amen. Listen, precious saint of God. Yes. If you knew how close this thing really was, if you knew how close we were to seeing and hearing that trumpet sound, it would blow your mind tonight. If I had to get on my knees tonight and say, please, please don't give up. Please don't get out of the fight. Please don't get out of the fight. We about to win this thing. We about to win. Hallelujah. Let me ask you a question tonight. These altars, they're open. If you want to come to the altar tonight, it's open. But where's hell's half acre in your life? Where's it at? Where's that high place that hasn't come down yet? 
What is that stronghold that seems to stand against you week after week after week and you just can't seem to get around it? Where's it at? Only you know. Somebody needs to claim the children for Jesus Christ. Somebody needs to boldly claim God's provisions. Somebody needs to go to the gates of hell and call out your child's name. Somebody needs to go to hell's half acre and call out your family's name. Listen, somebody, I'm telling you, this thing is a do or die situation. There's got to be some prayer warriors that would get on their knees and say, but God, if you if I can just find 50, if I can just find 40, if I can just find 30, 20 to God, if I can just find five. Won't somebody come tonight? I would that we would all leave this place tonight by way of the altar tonight. If you need the Holy Ghost in this place, if you need the Holy Ghost in this place, I would that you would come to the front. Let's make room for those ones that need the Holy Ghost right here in the front. God is in this place and He's here tonight to deliver some people. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to be a Jonathan tonight. Somebody needs to stand back to back with their own bearer and say, you know what, God? I'm here once again. I'm here before you, God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray right now, God, for a spirit of revelation. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's call out to him right now. When's the last time you got prostrate? 